amount of stress in your life is determined by how much energy you expend resisting your life. Every intention sets energy into motion, whether you are conscious of it or not. Humbleness, forgiveness, clarity and love are the dynamics of freedom. They are the foundations of authentic power. Forgiveness means that you do not carry the baggage of an experience. Changing the world begins with the very personal process of changing yourself. The only place you can begin is where you are, and the only time you can begin is always now. Please, tell me who you are and what you want. If you think those are simple questions, keep in mind that most people live their entire lives without arriving at an answer. There comes a time when the pain of continuing exceeds the pain of stopping. At that moment, a threshold is crossed. What seemed unthinkable becomes thinkable. Slowly the realization emerges that the choice to continue what you've been doing is the choice to live in discomfort. And the choice to stop what you have been doing is the choice to breathe deeply and freely again. Once that realization has emerged, you can either honor it or ignore it, but you cannot forget it. What has become known cannot become unknown again. No two people have the same reality. Being harmless means being so strong, so empowered, that the idea of showing power through harm is not even a part of your consciousness. What is behind your eyes holds more power than what is in front of them. Knowledge is power, and for each level of knowledge, you are held responsible for how you use it. You cannot act in love and act in fear at the same time. You must choose between them. Your experiences are not limited to what you have created in the past. When we align our thoughts, emotions and actions with the highest part of ourselves, we are filled with enthusiasm, purpose and meaning. Life is rich and full. We have no thoughts of bitterness. We have no memory of fear. We are joyously and intimately engaged with our world. This is the experience of authentic power. Do not lose power over the what ifs of your life. These are unlimited and endless. Keep your power in the now, in the present time. You lose power to the people and circumstances you judge. They capture your attention in the same way that a movie does. The commitment to love always transforms, heals and opens new avenues of creativity. Your heart is your home and all roads lead to home. The first step towards spiritual growth is to become aware of your emotions. When you welcome your emotions as teachers, every emotion brings good news, even the ones that are painful. What we call evil is the absence of light, of love in all cases. The road to your soul is through your heart. When you ask the universe to bless you in your effort to align yourself with your soul, you open a passageway between yourself and your guides and teachers. That is what a blessing is, the opening of a passageway between you and non-physical guidance. We are in the greatest evolutionary transformation in the history of our species. We are expanding beyond the five senses. We are becoming aware of ourselves as immortal souls, as powerful creators and co-creators. We are becoming aware that we experience what we create and there is no escape from that. Eventually, you will come to understand that love heals everything and love is all there is. You cannot find your soul with your mind. You must use your heart. You must know what you are feeling. If you don't know what you are feeling, you will create unconsciously. If you are unconscious of an aspect of yourself, if it operates outside your field of awareness, that aspect has power over you. Your personality is a tool of your soul. A joyous person abounds with energy and feels buoyant because he or she is running a higher frequency current of energy through his or her system. 
If you strive only to avoid the darkness or to cling to the light, you cannot live in balance. Try striving to be conscious of all that you are. Reality is what we take to be true. What we take to be true is what we believe. What we believe is based upon our perceptions. What we perceive depends upon what we look for. What we look for depends upon what we think. What we think depends upon what we perceive. What we perceive determines what we believe. What we believe determines what we take to be true. What we take to be true is our reality. Allow yourself to experience what it is to learn step by step the freedom that comes from being unattached to the outcome, but operating from an empowered heart. The decisions that you make and the actions that you take upon the earth are the means by which you evolve. The place to begin the task of eliminating evil is within yourself. You must distinguish between what is urgent and what is important. You could accomplish all of the urgent things that you desire without accomplishing anything that is important. The pains that you suffer the loneliness that you encounter, the experiences that are disappointing or distressing, the addictions and seeming pitfalls of your life are each doorways to awareness. Each offers you an opportunity to see beyond the illusion that serves as the balancing and growth of your soul. It is not until you have the courage to engage in human relationships that you grow. If we perceived life with reverence, we would stand in awe at the experience of physical life and walk the earth in a very deep sense of gratitude. When our actions create discord in another person, we ourselves in this lifetime or another will feel that discord. Likewise, if our actions create harmony and empowerment in another, we also come to feel that harmony and empowerment. An authentically powered person lives in love. Love is the energy of the soul. Love is what heals the personality. There is nothing that cannot be healed by love. There is nothing but love. Spiritual growth requires the development of inner knowing and inner authority. It requires the heart, not the intellect. 